Okay, so hi, my name is Derek. I'm a software developer here at Vista. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through the spider update wizard that takes a spider running a version 2x software and updates it to the 3x software. So this update's a little bigger than our normal updates. It requires some operating system components to be updated, and the update process takes about an hour. It might take a little longer depending on what hardware platform you're running. Uh, so if we get started here on the update wizard screen. Um, the first screen has two checkboxes and then there's also a link to the user manual. So this this little XPS link right here will open up uh, the documentation for this. It definitely recommended to read it before doing the update. It talks about some things, um, you know, changes that happen between version 2.0 and 3.0, different hardware platforms, the different vintages of hardware out there, and uh, performance issues that some systems may run into, particularly in bigger chains of systems. And then there's a, a walkthrough that kind of goes through the same things that I'm going to go through here. So uh, definitely read it, check it out. It's not that big. It's, you know, less than 10 pages. Uh, to get started, we're going to go and, and click the first checkbox that says this this update is potentially harmful and I might have to send in my system if, if it doesn't work or if power failure happens during the update, that kind of thing. And then the next checkbox says that uh, I've actually read the documentation I'm ready to go. So I've clicked both of those, the next button's enabled, so we go next. The next part is where the update wizard is looking for the latest version install of the Vista Advance 2009 software. And so basically this update wizard isn't specific to one version of software. As we do newer versions of software, this wizard will take the server update package basically from that latest version of software and apply it as part of this this upgrade process. So I'm going to click browse and on my system and it, by default the location for this is going to be in C program files or if you're running a 64-bit machine like I am it's it's program files x86 uh, Vista systems somewhere in here Vista systems corp uh, spider control suite 2009 3.4.0 in my case uh, and then there's one more three, version 3.4.0 folder inside that. That's the folder that I want to pick. So, uh, so we'll pick that, and then we'll click OK. As soon as it sees a, a valid folder has been put into there that has a, an actual server update package, that next button is going to enable again. So we'll go ahead and click that. And now this screen is going to show us all the spider systems that are sitting on the network. Now by default, it'll only show the spiders that are running a 2.x version of software. So you see two. 2.5, 2.10.5, 2.10.4, that kind of thing. If you're running a beta or something like that where it's a version 0.x.x, uh, you can uncheck this box right here and it'll show all the spiders sitting on the network. So here at Vista, there's a bunch of spiders running pretty pretty regularly. So you can see there's some 3.3.1 stuff, 2.5.0, uh, 0.38.3. Uh, so this is a, a version 2 software, but it's running beta past 2.10.5. Um, so anyway, that's an option. In our case, uh, my spider is running 2.10.4, and its IP address is going to be this uh, 21.200 right here. So I'll check that. Once I've checked at least one spider, the next button lights up. I can have multiple, so if you have a five chain expansion setup going, uh, you can check all those, and they'll update simultaneously. So uh, you know, so you're not waiting an hour for each single one. It's it's an hour or so total. So anyway, I have my one system. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And now the update process starts automatically. So you see here, uh, there's a little green icon that shows that the thing's running. It shows my IP address. Uh, there's an elapsed time counter, so this just ticks off time as, as we're going. And then this remaining counter is, is a general estimate for how long, based on some measurements we've done with, with a little padding, how long it's going to take for that update to complete. And then this last reported status you can see you know, what the updater is doing, what the server is doing uh, as this installation progresses. So right now, you can see it's uploading a, a 564 megabyte file. That's the big server package update. Once that file is uploaded, then that server is going to start processing that. That processing section is, is by far the large bulk of the work that, that's going to happen. So it's not super exciting while it's updating. So what I'll do here uh, is I'll go ahead and just pause this and uh, you know come back to it as as this installation progresses okay so that update uh, has pushed to the server and now you can see that last report of status says that it's unpacking
packaging that update. This process, because it's such a big file, is going to take probably a couple of minutes. And then once the server actually has finished unpackaging that thing, then we'll start getting some real status messages. So we've gotten past the unpacking, the server started running again, and now it's installing updates. So this last reported status, it shows that it's installing Windows XP Service Pack 3. The computer on the spider is running Windows XP, so depending on what vintage of spider system you have out there, your system may be coming from a different service pack. So the amount of time remaining uh, varies depending on what hardware system it's coming from. The XP Service Pack 3 is finished updating, and now the system's restarting, so we can see our last reported status is restarting. An important note here, the restart after we get the Service Pack in takes about 10 minutes or so. The front panel during this time is going to show you a, a frame timeout error or a, a frame error number 2, something like that. And it's because normally when the system's running, we're able to send messages to the front panel to let it know that the, the server software is still running. In this case, the server software is really not running because it's it's doing that big Windows update. So just focus on the app. Like I said, it'll take about 10 minutes or so for this restarting message to go away. It might take a little longer, but uh, definitely nothing to be worried about. So installing updates, .NET 3.5, Service Pack 1. It's four steps. The first one is, is the actual .NET Framework Service Pack 1. So that includes .NET 3.5, Service Pack 1. And then the other three steps are going to be uh, general service release. So now what's happening is the server is going to go and actually apply the 3.4.0 real uh, spider update to that server. Okay, so our update is finished. Uh, took just under an hour, about 58 minutes. Uh, so now that system is running version 3.4.0.